guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So, today's video, I feel like I'm quite late to this game, but you know, it's okay. So this video is going to be another review video. And I'm going to be testing a couple of new products. Not quite new because I've had them for a while. I just haven't had the chance to sit down and film a video for you. I will be reviewing the Jackie Ina X ABH palette collaboration. I had this even before it launched in the UK. I actually ordered mine from the US website because I knew that the UK are just long. We take too much time. And also the website, the UK website, wasn't doing like next day delivery. It was like, it was gonna take a few more days to get here. So I went along and ordered it from the US website. And to be honest, I felt like I kind of saved a bit of money, even though I had to pay like $25 shipping. But yeah, so this is the palette. I'm sure you guys have seen tons and tons and tons tutorials already I have been dipping my brush here and there into it already so it's not like a brand new palette so today I thought let me do a, like a quick review and just do my eyes also gonna be using the Fenty Beauty hydration the f also gonna be using the also gonna be using the <laughs> also gonna be using the pro filter the Fenty pro filter hydrating Longwear foundation again. I also tried that as well, and that's it. Honestly, nothing new. So it's gonna be like a quick review, hopefully. So yeah, so this is the palette. You guys, again, you guys have already seen it, but I just have to say, I absolutely love the packaging. It's just so cute. The whole like the holographic detail. You don't know what color it's supposed to be. Is it pink? Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it yellow? Is it green? It is so pretty, and. Off the bat, I just have to say that this is probably the first palette that I've come across. First of all, I'm not a fan of the ABA palettes for two things. I'm only able to use like two or three shades from that palette. I just, I've never really understood the hype. A lot of people seem to love her palettes, but for me, I personally don't like them. I would, I have purchased a few palettes and I find myself only reaching for like one or two shades in the palette. They do come across, there are a lot of shades that I'm not able to use as a dark skin woman you know just they haven't been they haven't been like dark skin friendly and so yeah i just don't gravitate towards it i'm more of like if if i had to be honest i use a lot of my morphe palettes a lot more even though i don't use every single shade in that palette but i do gravitate towards morphe a lot more and every other palette dubious place as well but yeah abh i just haven't been able to rock with them just because like i said for the price only having to use like one or two or three shades at the most it just doesn't make any sense when you get 14 shades but this palette even before trying it i was like i can use every single shade in this palette like it's crazy it's actually crazy you know so she did an amazing job jackie did an amazing job on this like catering to us dark skin women like we are always left out when it comes to certain things and i feel like it's time to you know wake up and pay attention because you know we're a big market you know when it comes to makeup and beauty and the fact that you know, someone's able to like actually sit down and be like, this is what people want and I'm going to give it to them. And with a big brand like ABH, the fact that they were able to, you know, to collaborate on this is an amazing opportunity for you and so, so proud of you. So congrats again. I know you've gotten so many compliments and so many congratulations, but this is mine. I did put up a story when I actually got it. So, but yes, yeah, so I've had it for a while. So today we're going to test it out and see what we think. Um... Honestly, the shades in here are what I would usually go for. Like, it's crazy. I love my pinks and purples. I love my gold. It has a dark brown. I have, there's a transition shade here. I have tried the ginger, which is, again, the names. Amazing. The names are so cool as well. The names are so funny as well. Like, it's so cool. You have edges, sponsored, pink or big wig, wigglies, damn. Dwellers, you know, really, really cool creative names, and it obviously it screams Jackie, so why not go for that? But yeah, so so far I've only really tried Credit, which is a dark brown. So I always, I always do like a golden brown look. My everyday look is like a golden brown, so I use this in my crease, and I've tried Ginger. Ginger for me, it's gonna be a little, just a teeny little bit, teeny little bit darker, just a teeny little bit, but it's a very good transition shade for a lot of people, so. Um, so I sometimes will mix it with something else, but yeah, damn, by the way, on the lid is so nice. I was at a shoot, I was at a shoot, and 
the makeup part is used this and it looks so nice especially like on different skin tones it looks so nice anyway enough rambling so Fenty came out with some hydrating foundation so it came to the dry skin dry skin people um and um for me obviously i'm oily skin so it wasn't it isn't something i would usually want gravitate towards but i wanted to try it out anyway and see how i feel because obviously you know how i feel about the her first one i mean I, I don't have a shade in her first you know the matte the soft matte foundation i don't have a shade so i usually have to mix but and that also is the reason why i don't go like don't use it as much it is a very very matte foundation quite drying um, so I just don't reach for it in all honesty and I said this from the very beginning a lot of people were upset about it but then I started seeing a lot more pe a lot more people coming up with that same conclusion so it's like okay so I guess you know I wasn't hating yeah these are supposed to be like the equivalent of the original shades you know so that's I was sent 430, 440 and 445 I was using a mix of the 445 concealer and 430 foundation so i was using two parts 445 one part 430 i kind of feel like the shades are slightly different maybe i haven't actually compared but i feel like they're slightly different so i know my 440 was really really red on me and it just and it oxidized so i just didn't like how it turned out on me so i i was like i'm in between 430 and 440 but there wasn't an in between shade so i'm gonna prime using my becca ever matte colorless primer again like i said i've already tried this foundation and i feel like i can get like four or five hours wear before it gets super oily so which isn't too bad i feel like this is probably like a a very quick everyday foundation quick errands you're not really going to be out for too long you're not going to be going somewhere hot if you have oily skin so I feel like this foundation can be used by all these skin people. You just gotta make sure you prime and set your makeup because if you don't set it, it's gonna look a hot mess. I'm gonna quickly <laughs> swatch it for you. This is 430. 430. This is 440. Can you see that? That's 440. So that's 440. And then this is 445. Another 445 of the foundation, the matte one was pulling more olive on me. And obviously it was darker than 440. 440 was very red. And then 430 was a little light. So, but I preferred the concealer shade in 445 mixing with the foundation 430. To be honest, I've just been using 440 just because I feel like I can always just highlight and bring it all back. This is 430. As you can see, it is slightly light. It is, it's, it's okay in some areas, but other areas, like around this area, like it's a little light. So this is for 440. What does it feel like for 440 is lighter? Interesting. Let's use 440 today. This is 440. The consistency isn't runny. I actually like the consistency. It doesn't, it doesn't feel runny or anything. I'm going to take 430 and use that for my under eye. Because I've got dark circles. medium coverage a medium coverage foundation but it has covered quite a bit actually it has covered quite a bit okay so my skin is looking very radiant very hydrated hence the name but we're gonna obviously set that I'm gonna prime my lids with the urban decay primer potion 430 looked like it could match certain areas of my face and because like the four 40 didn't cover like I can still see the dark areas around my mouth and like under my eyes as well I felt like applying it it didn't come off so like so light like when I blended it the 430 because I could even go over this with 430 and it wouldn't come off so light 
Do you get what I mean? I'm gonna take Ginger, which is this shade here, uh, as a transition shade. You do get quite a bit of fallout. Just gonna apply that to my transition. It is a little bit, doesn't show up as well on me. So I tend to go over it with something else. But it's one of those shades I feel like if you want to do the whole no makeup makeup look it can really work as a good shade for that like an all over lid shade but as a transition shade for me it doesn't really show up as much I'm gonna go over it with a shade that's similar but just a little bit darker I'm gonna go in with that purple shade which is Big Wig and that's gonna be my crease colour Make sure you tap your brush because there is quite a bit of fallout with the um, matte shades. I feel like, I guess the more pigmented they are, the more of a, the more fallout you might get. I think they do behave like the regular ABH shadows. Um, in the sense that in terms of pigment i feel like it's still quite the same pigmentation but i feel like these blend a little bit better because usually with like aba shadows when you try and mix shades it just it just doesn't work it's like a hot mess these look like they blend a lot better i feel like you get more of a payoff when you pack the shade and then blend pat and then blend Pat and blend, pat and blend. I'm just putting a base just on my lid because I want to apply like a lip colour, one of the shimmer shades. I use the P. Louise because I don't want it to crease. I've kind of been liking like putting a base first just so that my lid doesn't crease. I was just trying to try it on one side but I feel like I need a base first. I'm going to apply Sponsored. It's like a Saka Duochrome shade to my lid i absolutely love this shade reminds me of um i think like it was like a i think it was like a what's that brand called i don't remember but, um really pretty gonna go back with big wig the purple shade and just blend that into the lid color so there's no like harsh lines kind of want to go in with dwellers which is this shade here it's like a greeny it's like a gold, but it's like a greenish gold. Can't really explain. Just put that in the center. Kind of adds a bit more dimension to the lid. Okay, for my inner corner, I'm gonna try Soleil. And then if it doesn't work, I'm gonna try Zan, which is just underneath. I definitely have to say the shimmer shades are very pigmented. Now I want to go in on top of that with Trust Issues, which is like this. It looks like a white, but really it's like not. <laughs> Actually gonna put ginger as my brow bone highlight and then put Soleil on top just so it's not it's not as um shimmery i just want like a subtle shimmer i hope that was in focus i feel like it wasn't but yeah i'm <laughs> gonna apply my mascara the benefit bad girl bad mascara my bottom lash line i'm gonna take uh, i'm gonna take 
pinker and then big wig so I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face come back and finish off the eyes I feel like everything else I'm gonna be using we don't need to know I'll, just, I'll put everything in the description box anyway so we're focusing on the eyes today okay so I just finished off my face rest of my face I will list everything in the description box as usual this palette honestly I can create a lot of looks with this so I will be playing around with it a lot more but I really like it I really really like it I love the fact that I can use literally every single shade in this palette and it's just so nice and refreshing for an ABH palette like I said the foundation I feel like for me I can get about four hours at the most five hours five hours wear from it if you are dry skin definitely I would say go for it oily skin I feel like you can work with it but if you like your matte matte then maybe not it reminds me of like the Pat McGrath where it wasn't really it's not really meant for oily skin but I can I can use it, you know, I can still work with it. I'd probably go for the Fenty one as like my, say, a quick everyday, quick makeup where I'm not going to be out for very long. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. Make sure you click on the bell button as well to notify you when I have a new video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.